6.08 p.m. on Thursday the 28th, I'd like to call the meeting of the Woodbury Select Board to order. I'd like to first call for any adjustments to the Select Board agenda. Do we want to talk about Old Quarry Road? We can. Yeah, let's have that at Where the end. Where would like to put that? Let's and put that after. Um, after the road commissioner's report, please. Okay. So we will do Old Quarry Road after the old, oh, after the road. commissioner's report. I also want to update you all on the reappraisal business, so we can do that at the end. Can we do that at the very end, please? Yep. Of course, I'm a person of policy. Uh, we're not going to do the personal policy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to strike that. That's like the perennial. It's just like that's the thing that we. <laughs> I worked on that for three years too. Uh, we were working on it. Yes, for you were years. Yeah. We started that in. My we're striking that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not happening. Okay. Any other adjustments to the select board agenda as published? Okay. Are we? Oh, no, oh, go ahead, Miss Brandy. No. I wonder when working on the budget. I didn't. For verbals, for verbals. No, the standing of the select board. Are you here for something that's on the sub, on the agenda, or? I, I saw a town meeting and town report on the agenda, and thought oh. I would show up to take some oh, okay. questions. Okay. Stephen Murphy said he was going to come tonight too, so. Oh. Uh, and he says he, so I figured I'd come as well. Thank you. And if Alfie mm -hmm. were here. I would thank him for getting Tebbit's road back in shape. Okay. Oh, boy, I wrote to do that. Oh my goodness, I hope, it's I hope it freezes before it snows. Yeah, it's going to be bad. bad. Yeah, it's supposed to snow tonight. Yeah, but it that talk is plowable. It's, it's, it's not going to be plowable, though. If they had to plow right now, I don't I don't oh, think yeah. they could. They're going to plow the road. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna plow. My truck is sinking this far into my road. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. And it that's a 10 mil full of sand. Oh my God, it's bad. That's it. That's it. So let's leave that in the conversation about okay. um, after the road commissioner's report. Okay. That's all right. Well, it's already in the. Your point was under town clerk. Was somebody report. else? What was your point? Is the a new selectman going to be appointed? No, no that was not, not yet. yet. Okay. I'll let you suck it. I'll be leaving before you. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Hearing other and any other adjustments to the select board agenda, um, the bills and payroll orders are present for the select board mm -hmm. and have not been reviewed yet. They will be reviewed immediately after the meeting. The minutes from the November twenty seventh meeting and the December 11th meeting have both been reviewed and approved. And we are now open for public comment. So I'm here to answer any questions that come up on a town report or town meeting. But I'd like to say to Alfie, thanks for getting Ted's world back in shape so fast. I don't know sure. how you did it. <laughs> you guys walk on water. All right. <laughs> well, really have been walking on water. Yeah. It's been it's been busy uh, for sure. It's amazing. Uh, so, uh, thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay, hearing no other public comment, um, may we have the town clerk's report, please. Last couple of weeks. Pam and myself have been working on getting our portion of the town report done. And of course, this week here, we've been on vacation, so the office hasn't been open. Great. I did have the laptop at the house with me, and I was checking it throughout the days in case I had to send Elfie somewhere. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing. No, I didn't have to send you anywhere. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, so progress on any building repairs? Do we have any updates um, since the last meeting? I have put out another memo to Chris out to Paul Davis, to Paul Davis. For, for the cleaning of the basement, and he hasn't gotten back to me yet. So, so he did give you some kind of an estimate or something, and now you just have to hire him? Is that what's right, next? So they can tell me when they're able to come okay. to Okay. So you have told them to come? Yes. Okay. 
So that's the next step. Right. Yeah. And Lizzie, did you have anything else to offer about the building repairs? Uh, not a ton. I did talk to Gary again. Mm -hmm. um, and we, him and I both agreed it would probably make sense for me to try to get a hold of um, a plumber, heating installer, mm -hmm. uh, who I do have somebody in mind for. Mm -hmm. So and we need to he, get at least two or three estimates. Um, yep, okay, so mm -hmm. I can get a hold of two or three, but isn't that only if it's going to cost more than... No. no. If it's more than $8,000, you have to go out to a public okay. bid, but if it's, oh. I don't know, it's more <laughs> Yeah. Over two thousand dollars, I think it's a. Three. Oh, okay. I didn't. Mean, you, you don't have to get, get bids, but you have to so. shop around. Okay. To get some. So what happens estimates. if I contact three people and two of the three people don't get back to me? Like, does that count, or do I yes, get to that actually? Yeah. 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 That that okay. Yeah. If I contact the fuel companies, and mm -hmm. most of them will look at the RFP and go. No, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I haven't actually. I so. Once we know, like FW Web mm -hmm. or the last piece we deal with, and then yeah, FW okay. Web does so installation. Not installation, but we could get yeah as far as purchasing, purchasing. The, the furnace. Okay, so I will do that. I will reach out to three. Do they, but so you could purchase a fur so a plumbing and heating person would go there Say to buy the furnace. We could get all the materials we need. Thank you. Cheaper than going through the installer. Mm -hmm. Who's going to install it? We could have, we have to ask three people, <laughs> right? Three people. Well, so. <laughs> yeah. And we send them down and they get the stuff and bought me two months. <laughs> okay. So right. the best. Like, oh, that's which way, but I can help you out. Okay, that sounds great. Oh, wow. To fix my cut wires and broken like marks. Okay. So might consider coming. Thank you. <laughs> And Diana, that's as far as I got. I had somebody in mind for the install, not realizing that I had to shop around for it. Um, I haven't even contacted him yet. Okay, we'll do, so. I mean, a heat, plumbing and heating person? Yes. Yeah. yeah. If they do plumbing and heating, mm -hmm. you could ask them also to do that uh, pressure tank. Okay. But if they just do heating, then we'll have to get another plumber for the pressure tank. Okay. Did we... Definitely need to replace that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's sitting on the floor. It's, it's oh, done. It's gotcha. Just, yeah. Okay. Lizzie, how long is Tim going to be laid up? I do not know that. Um, I'm not sure. He had he surgery. Had knee ACL operation. surgery. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, I can find that out for you. Are you thinking for the electrical yeah. work? Um, I will find out and I'll let you know. I think it's still kind of like he hasn't had his first appointment yet. Right. So, I think he'll know more once he goes back. Okay. Yeah. Mrs. Durkee, the last thing on this um, is for town meeting and the town report prep. What else do we need from the select board directly? The select board has to write up their report. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing I had them down for is the ARPA status report okay. and the Sylvia Jackson report. I sent a memo out to a bunch of different committee chairs reminding them to get in their budget and their report to be heard any back. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Yep. Library. Oh, good. Um, yeah. Cemetery. Oh. And yeah. who would do the CV fiber report? Is that the that select board or is that my board? Michael would do the CV fiber report. I think I actually saw them. They were here. Somebody doing some cable down in the Gulf today. They're like all over the place. They're, they're oh, bouncing yeah. around all over the place. Oh. Alfie can tell us more. Yeah. Yeah. They're all over the place. Yes. All over town. Uh. Are they actually stringing wire in town? No. Yeah, it seems like yeah. they bought the truck yeah. for yeah. they went up. Silvery yeah. looking wire yeah. there. Well, it's around, around town. Around I, don't town. I don't know about the village yet. But they are no, they're here. They're down. Yeah. They're over yeah. here. They've been on Dog yeah. Pond Road and uh, Wheeler Road all the way so, yeah, we have a request here that Brandy's going to bring to us, I guess. Yeah, it just came in when I was at work. Um, Should we bring that up now? Uh, either and or. It, it, yes, sure. You want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's, actually not a, it's, it's not a bad time to do it. Yeah, it's um, kind of an addition to the agenda. It's not a bad time to do it. It is sure an addition to the agenda. I saw it. It was I saw a last it as well. minute, kind of. Um, 
And no. Alfie, you saw this. This is the CV fiber. It know, just came in today. Yeah. 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 Um, we'll you know, like, I can't yeah. understand why they want to go all up around the class four section of Scribner Road. Oh, they're talking about the class four section? Yeah, yeah. class four so, section. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's oh. no poles there, but when they get over to the other side, there's like one house, and then you're on Logtown Road. So if they're going to serve Logtown Road that way rather than going this all the, through Cranberry Meadow Road, this is the same conversation sense. we've had for I know, yeah. years. <laughs> there is a map in there, Alfie. Yeah. They must have it figured out that that's the best route, right? Or they wouldn't be doing it, right? Oh, yeah. I'll fix the uh, Please, sir, go ahead. So I, I, they've been out to see me. At my request, they've stopped halfway up the road, and they've said that's their design. And anybody who wants to hook up, they said what? That's the design for the network. They they went halfway up Goodall Road, and anybody who wants to hook up to it has to stream. Has to pay, has to pay for their pay a half a mile to get to what? The pole. That's not ah, the way that that's right. was originally so, published. No. So I I spoke to them. Michael about it, and, I, and their operations. No, because the original hookup was free. Was free. Yeah. Well, well then, you know, the hookup for, for me would be about three thousand, if they can do it through the air. Yeah. And, but their original thought was to do it underground, conduit, a half mile up the road. A half a mile. So, they're still sorting some things out. Yeah, I mean, it, what, that fifty thousand dollars we gave them is for. <clears throat> From the whatever you would think the pole would go to the end of the road, but I guess not. I guess that's a question. But then to hook up from the pole to the house, that was supposed to be that's free. It's going to be for anybody who's within 400 feet of where they put a box, uh -huh. a terminal uh -huh. on the fiber. Huh? Everybody so else is going to pay uh, extra. Really, the way it's that they. It's too bad they didn't tell us that in the beginning. In the beginning. Really? Mm -hmm. well, they're still sorting it out. Uh, okay. I think, but it's. Uh, but, and they certainly have been mm -hmm. putting up fiber everywhere, but I was surprised that they just, they went up half way up the road and stopped. And when I mm -hmm. called and said, what's up? I mean, said, that's as, that's as far as we're going. Who's there besides you? Meta Place? Meta, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, and the right, other two places? And uh, Sheila. 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 And, and Does it go as far as Sheila's Denise? house? Yeah. And what? Does it go as far as Sheila's, or does it stop before? No, it goes before. It stops before her house. Oh, no. I'm kidding. No. Hmm. It stops down near uh, the driveway down to mm. Goodall Pond. Kind of oh. the purpose yeah. of getting it to of, where all of, people, of right? Yeah, really, I know. Yeah. That's exactly the kind of places they're supposed to be serving. Servicing. Mm -hmm. Well, we're right. going to have to well, make sure they spend our $50,000 on what they're supposed to spend it on. <laughs> Should we plan to talk to Michael about this and see yeah, if I'm there's... Yeah, I'm writing that note right mm -hmm. now. Okay. I, Michael's, uh, just so you know, I've talked with him. He's mm -hmm. up to date on this. Okay. Yeah, he's Good. not broke about it either. Yeah. But. Mm -hmm. That has to go in our CV file to report them. So I am aware of this permit that they're asking for. On Scribner Road. Didn't they apply for a permit at one time? I don't. This is it. It it, it, oh. came, it came. It was. It came to the board at one point. Yeah. And then they sort of totally dropped off. Yeah. Uh, and then her and I met and took a ride on uh, December eighth, mm -hmm. and uh, there was two roads that we looked at. One yeah. of them has poles. And I'm like, mm -hmm. why are we putting underground here? You got poles all the way up the side of the road. Mm -hmm. So she's corrected that in this email. Which one was that? Says so, uh, Bailey Bridge. Yeah, oh, okay. Bridge. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the one that they need a permit for is uh, Scribner Road. Mm -hmm. And I don't see any other way around it. They, mm -hmm. they want to do it more on the side of the road because the poles stop part way up there. Sure, yeah. So but I think that's, this is okay. The pole must go to the last house. No, it comes in the other way. It goes the other side. It oh. comes in from the other way, from uh, Logtown. Logtown. Oh, Logtown. Really? Yeah. That's what we originally oh, talked about. Yeah. Is that the poles went from the other direction. Oh, yeah. okay. So there's a stretch in, in the in, in the middle. Oh, okay. That there that oh, there okay. are no poles, so that's why oh, they okay. have to do underground. Okay. So how far are they looking to go underground? Just the last house, or are they looking to go all the way through to Logtown? Um, it is. It's like 900 feet. 
stretching. Yeah, 943 feet. From the last telephone pole, and between, then 900 feet Between the pole, between poles on Scribner Road oh, and poles that come in oh, from, yeah. Gotcha. So it'll jump back to the poles and go through Logtown after yeah. it yeah. reemerges. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So on a piece of road like that that has hardly had any maintenance or brush cutting or anything over the years, is that kind of a... Well, no, this is, our, this is a class three portion. Oh, That's what I thought when I read it. I thought it was a class... Oh, okay. So it's not no. the class four portion that goes between no. the end of... No, because you jump on poles Plus at that house. point. Yeah. Oh. Once you get to Logtown... Uh -huh. You're back on poles. You're back on poles. So this is on Scribner Road. Okay. It's a class three, so it's oh, it okay. is, it's maintained. Okay. But they're going to want to dig along the side of our road mm -hmm. within our right way. Mm. How do you feel about that? Um, we don't we, love we, it. we had hope, we had tried to not do this. I know. Mm. Every time mm. we talked to CV Fiber about making sure that we were not digging in the right way. Right. Mm. I would love it if they didn't. I would love it if they didn't as well. I don't know that there's a way around it in order, you know, to be able to serve those people up Logtown and the other side. Okay. What are the concerns? Is it just the fact that the road will be blocked for a while while they're doing uh, it? No, no. It's more if we want to change a culvert someday yep. and it's not marked properly, then our escalator is going to hit it. Mm -hmm. um, they do sometimes they do a shoddy job and you know if they're digging alongside mm. of our road now our shoulders all are all wonky and, wonky and mm. Mm -hmm. um, do they register with that dig safe yes they, they do, do. Mm -hmm. yeah they do. yeah so i don't know if there's a way around it um, we can put stimulations in there in the in the permit you know, that they have to be a certain distance off the travel portion or they have to, you know, backfill with proper material, different things of that nature. But mm -hmm. think we should? You would be the one to suggest those. Yeah. Um, I think we should consider the permit, but we should make some very clear parameters as to where they can dig and what they have to actually move for material. Yeah. Yeah. And if it I mean, means that if it means it's more expensive for them, we threw a bunch of money at them right. to make this work. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and this is one place mm -hmm. that we had always talked about making it work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is this is a permit that they came up with, and I don't like that permit at all. Okay. Personally. So do you. we want to? come up with our own permit with our own I think we can language. use their permit with stipulations on that permit okay and send it back to them for review I guess we don't have a permit do we I know we have a permit for somebody who wants to do a curb cut yeah. work in the right yeah. of way like that right. but I don't think we have a, <coughs> another kind of permit for right. just working in the right of way mm -hmm. yeah which we probably should as, yeah. you know, as time yeah. goes on, we're going to be this, well, there's going to be more to. development going yeah. on and more mm. things happening mm. in our right way. So it just gives us sort of a, gives the town sort of a... Something you know, to lean on. Something to lean mm -hmm. on, something so yeah. we're aware of yeah. what's going on in our right way. So, oh, um, yeah. so mm. would you consider talking with Michael briefly? Yeah. Sure. About that permit specifically? Yeah. Because he's our best contact person with CV Fiber. Mm -hmm. He probably knows better than anybody what's going on on a regular basis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And see if your concerns can be met. Yeah. With a, re a, a brief redraft of that. And I think it's mm -hmm. literally a couple of bullet points. Right. This is the distance that we would, we're interested in. <coughs> this is the type of fill that we want to make sure is put back into place. Yeah. If there are culverts in place, we want them basically reestablished. Nothing's going to happen until spring. 
spring, right? Mm -hmm. Sounds like er early spring. Early spring, mm -hmm. which could be any time. Well, it could be tomorrow. <laughs> 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 it feels like right now. I've seen it before. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's not much stuff. Yeah, if you can, if you can get me a copy of that, spring day, then I can start my for two weeks. Three weeks. Sir, go ahead. I'm sorry. Is there? There's no way to do this overhead. Well, there's no poles existing. So how does phone service get to that area? Or power. Yeah. It's from Logtown. It comes in Logtown Road. Logtown Road. Log 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 Why Why is this fiber coming that way? Uh, I don't know. You know, it looks to me that like the, the, show, the last the pole is, is... This is the connection between the two. I think there's a gap in the poles. There's a gap between, in the poles between like those Cranberry two. Like Cranberry Meadow and... Yeah. Log Town from between Green Mountain Power right. and Electric because there's a gap there too. So there's no good way in the back, I don't think. Yeah. Right. So it's the gap that they're trying to fill. That's that 900 foot gap that they're talking about. Maybe there must be. I mean, we could probably request them to do poles. They could add their own poles. And then. So this isn't the section of road that McGlynn lives on. No. Oh, okay. It's no, beyond that. It's beyond. It's that. beyond Mike's house. And so okay. The, yeah. And the other end would be like Terry Cushing's. Is that he must have power and phone yeah. there? Yeah. I think it's I think that's the class four portion personal. Is, is that the picture of it? Yeah, it's not very that's the, <laughs> it's, a, it's terrible. It's a terrible mm -hmm. terrible map. This must I think like the last house is like right up off the page, right? Is that right? This I am thinking this is the last house on Scribner Road and this is Oh, okay. The last house from this direction. From direction. Gotcha. Okay. Mm. That was my <laughs> you all have a draft copy of that, right? It just came from email today, yeah. Right. She can make it. So, yeah. Why don't you hang on that? Yeah. 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 And, so, okay. uh, yeah. That's right. we'll, I will get with Michael and see if we can have, have a conversation. Yeah, mm -hmm. have program. a conversation about that because the yeah. modification I think is important. Yeah, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I'm sorry if I hogged that conversation. No, nope. please. But he's a better liaison than any of us. Well, he's our rep. he's our rep. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we jumped around a little bit. I'm um, sorry for that. Um, can we take the town treasurer's report, Miss Brandy? Um, your regular reports, balance, financial, and due to be from. Uh, since December 12th, we have taken in $20,367.26 through cash receipts. Um, there was library donations, records restoration, cost, uh, copies at cost, delinquencies, land recording, land copies, and vault fees. Expenses for payroll, $11,902.80. AP, $202,833.17. I transferred 190000 to cover AP for today. Um, so some goodies. Um, I had Kelly, who's the underwriter supervisor from the LCT. Um, mm -hmm. There is a time sensitivity. It's just um, a doc's electronic signature she wants. So that was her explanation. Um, the additional insurance if the board wanted to take it upon or is this the one about the that we've been I'm chasing sure. around the yeah. uninsured yeah the way she explained it to me was if we don't opt out of this we have to pay for this additional correct. huge correct. amount correct. of underground of correct insurance yes so we have to say no we don't want it is this the form it's electronic, so it, it's time sensitive. So once it's like 24 hours, when she sends it, it's gone. It has to be, it has to be reissued. So. Hmm. Okay. So how are we going to go about? I have. To, I'll contact her and say, please send again, and we'll decide. Yeah. But it has to be electronically. So how do you do that? I mean, it's you open the dock and. You either agree or disagree, and, and then 
click oh, button. You don't have to have an electronic signature or anything. Just put your type your name in there. I had changed right. it from Chris's to yours. Yeah. <coughs> speed it along, but mm -hmm. yeah, it can go to either mm -hmm. at this point. So. Okay. I'm sorry it took so long. Well, it's my fault. Yeah. Other goodies. Other goodies. Tom is working busy behind the scenes on getting reports for the town report um, from last fiscal year. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Unless I have questions. Do we need to schedule another budget meeting? Oh, yes. We haven't okay. touched the general fund whatsoever. Okay. Yep. So, um, how would we like to approach that? Well, let's see. we got another year coming up here. We've got a meeting. Our next meeting will be January 8th. Uh, ASAP would be nice. To I've got two other meetings that week. So what? So or we could either if, meet the first week of the month, which is next week, or the week of the 15th. That's kind of pushing it. It is pushing it because we need it to the week. Yeah. We, need it yeah. we should probably do it next week, right? That way I can get the numbers plugged in. The board then can approve it. I mean, we can, yeah. So we have seen the finished product. If, yeah, it's going to be, yeah. It, next week would be ideal. Next Tuesday? You guys. The second? Tuesday the second? Yeah. We're, we're working. Are you guys working? Yes. Mm. You're working right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I might stay home with my puppy. <laughs> I told you to bring her. You had a puppy. I did get a puppy. Ooh. A boxer puppy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna bring it to the meeting? Maybe. She <laughs> said. <laughs> okay. We got um, to play for. Mm -hmm. So we'll do 6 p.m. on the second. We'll do 6 p.m. on Tuesday the second. At the office. Does that sound right? Yeah, 2024. It's right. the first time I've written that. <sighs> and mm. that will be at the town office. Right. Correct. Is that clear? Tuesday, 6 p.m. at the town office. You don't have to come to that. For the next budget meeting. Okay. Although we probably Although still have some still, questions. Yeah, there's yeah. still some. Okay, should right. we have them come for the first part of it? And if we want to wrap up the highway, it'd be nice. Yeah. It's, uh, it's at yeah. 6 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. I get I yeah. a dentist appointment during the day. Oh, but yeah. that night I can be. Okay. He'll be drilling, but I might not be able to talk. <laughs> Okay, um, what does that mean for the January 8th meeting that was initially scheduled? Are we canceling that meeting? No, no, that's, that's our regular select, meeting. That's our regular select. meeting, right? Yeah. Second. So let's second keep Monday. that, so let's keep that yeah. second Monday. Yeah. Okay. But I agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, Miss Brandy, anything else? I don't believe so unless there's any questions. So far so good. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. So, the, so I need to get it by like the 17th of January to get it to the printer in time. So will the town budget be yes. ready by then? Yeah. Okay. Great. 17th is what? The date to go to the All printer? The week of the select board. The after? Yeah, after three, three or four week. days to paginate the budget. And okay. Then to the printer. <coughs> the printer's date is uh, January 24, I think. But that's okay. And the auditors will be able to come in and audit between now and then? Coming in the uh, week of January 8th. Yeah. My hope is to have complete, both complete budgets done and approved on the 8th. Gotcha. For you, so. Okay. So that's right. We have to approve it after we right. scribble it together. Well, yeah, I have to put in all the numbers and make sure. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. So photos. Have you received photos or? Yeah, I've gotten a fair number. You know, um, I'll put out another note 
I, it would be great to get some of the cleanup after the summer flood, and there aren't any of that. So. Yeah, Did you I mean, get they got two emails from you today with pictures. Flying in the summer, I can't produce. Them. <laughs> 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 I got pictures today. I met, I met Skip because I my, my two emails today, and one of them is where the highway crew is down on the bottom part of Foster Hill. What was that? Uh, it was like a dog, a spring house. Oh, that yeah, you were doing yeah. something with, and I got all of you with a truck and a trailer, out of there. Yeah. the three or four of you standing with it. Yeah. Huh. That was like the night of the... That was in the middle what? of the night. I remember that yeah. that first. That was terrifying. Okay, when, the, when they gave away. That. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, really. Seems so long ago. It was not there. a fun night to be out of anything when we were out. Yeah. So Steve, what are you here for? Are you here for tire report <laughs> stuff Steve, also? Or? <laughs> <laughs> too late, so too late <laughs> to get put on the agenda. So. Well. I didn't think you'd notice. <laughs> you just want to watch us. I don't think she meant it that way. <laughs> I'm here to follow up on what we talked about last time I was here two weeks ago, and that's um, preparing the articles for the, uh, the warning and we the agenda. We, we did, did see for your, the town meeting. We did yeah. see your note. Yeah. Yeah. So we agreed last time that I would go and try to get some information, then bring it back to you. Yep. So I did. Today I, t I sent a message to Vermont League of Cities and Towns. We got a reply back from one of the staff attorneys. Um, and last last meeting we talked specifically about how the. Um, town report, approval or acceptance of the town report might affect articles that came later in the meeting. You know, for example, if we approved the proposed budget in the town report for a certain amount for, let's say, the highway fund, would then that, would later in the meeting, if we approved the article. It's just a That's, question that yeah, came up. Yeah, well, yeah. A question that came up, if we then approved the, the amount for the highway fund, would it double the appropriation? So we just wanted to get that cleared up. And Vermont League of Cities and Towns said no, it wouldn't. Um, they advised not framing the town report as a question of acceptance or approval, but rather just stated that this is a time for report of the town mm -hmm. officers. So. The report is contained in the town report. There's no question at stake. It's a time for officials to make comments about their, you know, their activities and and the assembly to ask questions and maybe comment, make corrections like we sometimes do. Makes there are errors in the report. So the, so I'm understanding you. The town report is the reference, not a legal document. Right. That it that it's well as the. Um, it's a template for the document. Yeah, it's, it's information. <coughs> guidance information. But there's, but there's it's nothing not, binding about it's it. It's not a Correct. budgetary yeah. question. Is so, it's, so it's okay to what we've been saying all these years, what action will be the voters take in regard to the printed report, and then somebody says, um, we move that it be accepted, and then somebody else says, I have a little change to make, and then somebody says, we approve, move to approve the changes, and then... That's, is it's, that okay? It's it's okay, but I see room for improvement, which is why I came last week. In preparing for last year's meeting, I went back and watched on HCTV our previous town meetings, mm -hmm. and that's a predictable point where there's a procedural snag, because people say, what are we voting? There's no question. We can't vote so yes or no that. on what action should we take. So I know, I, I know it's all, it may be all understood here in this room, but in a, in a meeting where there may be new voters, it's a, it's a source of confusion and potential procedural problems. Mm. And I think it's unnecessary. I don't think we need to phrase the question, even phrase it as a question. It's Mom, a statement. League of Cities and Towns says you don't have to, and we could achieve the same effect without the potential problem. And the effect is, let's talk about town report. So, that's... So what would you suggest that it say? Well, Does anyone want to talk about the town report? Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I went through some of the old town reports from different towns that we have down at the office, mm -hmm. and there's quite a few towns that don't even have an article like yeah. that in their reports. Yeah, that's right. That's required it's really yeah, just, that's a, right. just a just a way to be polite and have people have an opportunity to 
you made comments on the town like report. With the opening, is there any adjustments to this report? Like mm -hmm. if someone missed a date or something or whatever. That's That's right. Right. That I, sounds, I, more yeah, sounds more clear. Yeah, that sounds more clear. Right. Because yeah, those point. adjustments can't change the substance of an article, for example. But you could mm -hmm. say, oh, the date was wrong. Someone put 22 instead of, you know. So right. we could we could simply state on the agenda to review or to discuss town report or alternatively but similarly to hear the report of town officers where it's a statement of an action that will take place but it doesn't require a vote Correct. can we just and take it out we can take it out but it would yeah. be nice if there was a statement that replaced it we could we could take it out it seems to me that it's a an important part of the meeting where people say I, I enjoy the photographs or sometimes members of the town have passed away and there's a nice memorial it's a time where there's no debate or so <laughs> maybe less debate than on some of the other articles and it's a nice time to either question the town officials um, or celebrate the town mm -hmm. seems to me an important part even though it might not have the same substance as some of the other articles, it's maybe equally as important. So what you were suggesting last time that we should say, have it be a yes or no. Right, that was before I got the, oh, okay. the guidance from VLCT. Okay. Um, and they say, you don't even need to pose it as a question. It's just right as a to hear town report. Or I like what you just said, Paul. Yeah. I just, thought that was good. Mm -hmm. Comments. Comments are changes that need to be made that could be made legally to the report, I guess, is one way to frame it, and then you just kind of move on. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, I, I sent to you the, the message nope. Thank you for, and Thank it's you very, very much. short what he says. He, he says, in fact, we advise. So I think they encounter this with other towns. So, so if that, we were to change it, how does that change happen? How does it? Yeah. Well, you guys right and approves so the minute to the, the warning. So. Yeah, you guys, yeah. Yeah. You guys <laughs> are drafting the article. We have to write. We have to write. It's a report. That's yeah. our job. <laughs> That's yeah. right. You can do better. You can join up. Do it yourself. <laughs> to review or to discuss town report. Yeah. Um, so that was that was one that was one question that I had for Vermont League of Cities and Towns. I asked them another question, and that is because at last last year's town meeting, the town voted to hold the meeting on s the Saturday immediately preceding the first Tuesday in March. Correct. So I was looking at the at the statutes, um, and um, so we can so we can manage this properly the procedure. So I had some questions on that that I sent to Vermont League of Cities and Towns. I sent them to you guys as well. Um, and there's, there's, there's apparently a differences of opinion in how the towns in Vermont interpret um, the statute that enables towns to hold the meeting on those three days preceding mm -hmm. Tuesday. And specifically, that is on the election of town officers. Now it's it seems it's fairly uh, complicated. I, I have a better understanding because I spent the day thinking about it mm -hmm. and looking at it. Um, but it comes down to this in this in the statute. Um, the statute says that the town meeting can be started up to three days ahead of town meeting. It can be started, right? And you can conduct your normal town business at that meeting, except for matters that are uh, decided by Australian ballot. Those must be conducted on the Tuesday. And Which means our school budgets. Our school, school budgets. budgets yeah. And there are there are some. So we have it open twice. Mm -hmm. Twice. Yeah. So, right. So <coughs> the, the Australian ballot, ballot mm -hmm. questions must be conducted on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there are some other questions under law, under statute, that must be decided on that Tuesday, and those are. Um, 
is one, if, if the select board or if the town wants to change um, its, uh, the election of constables to appointment, uh, where you can appoint the constables. And there's another one, I believe it's for Lister. Um, so th there, are, there are a few cases where the vote, the Australian ballot vote, and a vote um, by, it could be, I think by paper ballot, it must be done on the Tuesday. Now, okay, I don't think that causes any, any confusion here. The, the point where it seems there, there's a difference of opinion among towns is on this. The election of some town officials that must be, that must be done by paper ballot, okay, by ballot. Oh and those are, and this happened, this comes up every annual town meeting. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, this is a standard elections for select board members, lister, auditor, road commissioner, water commissioner, and advisory budget committee members. All of those under statute must be elected by ballot. And that has to be a Tuesday. Well, well here's the question, okay? That, that, so let's, yeah. just, let's okay. just understand that first, that those must be elected by ballot, okay? So in the statute, it says that if you, if, you, if you hold your meeting, or sorry, if you start your meeting sorry. on any one of those three days preceding the first Tuesday in March, that you can c conduct any business <coughs> not involving voting by Australian ballot. We understand that. You can't do that on, on that one of those three days. Or any business not involving voting required by law to be by ballot and to be held on the first Tuesday in March. Now, under the law here, for these positions that must be elected by ballot, it says that they must be elected at annual meeting. It does not say at annual meeting on the first Tuesday in March. So it's contradictory in its own statement? Not necessarily, it, but it leaves room for different interpretations because Vermont League of Cities and Towns interprets, interprets this language to mean that Australian ballot and the, the, the ballot elections for those town officers that I just read, that those must be conducted on Tuesday. <coughs> on the other hand, there are towns that conduct those elections and all of their other business, except Australian ballot. They conduct all, all that on, say, Saturday. Or, or a day, one of or those Monday days. night before. Or, or Monday night Exactly. Yeah. No, we decided to do Saturday. We right. Yeah. So we made the choice on Saturday, but yeah. you're right. Right, right. So we could have so done it. Done on so they settle all that business, their general questions, general town business, and the election of those officers by ballot on a day that's not Tuesday. So one of those three days before Tuesday. And Vermont League of Cities and Towns said that, as far as they know, there's been no legal challenge to either way. Mm -hmm. so, so that leaves the question open. The Vermont League of Cities and Towns suggested, <laughs> suggested that, that, that I seek the advice of the Secretary of State. So I did. I said yep. that. I, I'm sorry? Yeah. I said, good, yeah, I said good gracious. I'm not uh, yeah. sure what, what Diana said. No, I didn't. I just said that. No, no, I just said that. I was going to say Secretary of State will have the last up. word because they're in charge they're of all elections. Of all elections. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. they may have the last advice, but it may ultimately come down to where they say there's no settled law on this. It hasn't gone to a court. So you make a reasonable decision or you ask the advice of the town attorney. So. It, it may come to that, um, where we, we're making a, a change here, and there may be some growing pains in figuring this out and doing it the right way, and maybe it would be prudent to get the advice of our attorney. Um, but based on from what Vermont League of Cities and Towns said, there, it's not settled. They have, they have their opinion, um, but there are towns that do it differently. Um, 
And based on based on a, a couple of oops, a couple of decisions the town has made, I'll just bring this to your attention just quickly here. We had a special meeting on February 12, 2022, where the town decided should we elect our officers by Australian ballot? The town voted no. Should we um, elect make our budgetary decisions by Australian ballot? The town voted no. So by that, I interpret the town wanted to keep those decisions at town meeting, Correct. which happens for us on the floor. Last town meeting, March 7th, 2023, the town voted to move the meeting, all of that floor activity, to Saturday. Correct. So, based on my understanding of this, the will of the town would have the election of the officers on Saturday and not on Tuesday. Correct. So, if it's a matter of a, of a reasonable decision to be made by the, by the select board, I think the reasonable decision would be the voters want to vote for the uh, election of officers on Saturday. Now, that may be reasonable, that may be the will of the voters, but there's still some question about whether it's, it's legal. But well, the people who, who wanted the change, who you know were making all the uh, complaints about not being able to come to the meeting and so on and so forth, I don't think they want two meetings. Right, <laughs> right, it seemed the purpose of in fact, it seems right, the purpose of changing the meeting to Saturday would be so more people could attend, could attend. so it would be easier. I don't think, I certainly don't think that people want two meetings to have to attend. Mm -hmm. So, it, if, it comes, if it comes to a decision, that's my interpretation mm -hmm. of all this, that the, the will of the town would have us do everything on Saturday. Now, so that's that. I'll keep you about, posted. I'm so, about so, the school well, budget, they, though, what, what is... Just, are they going to have to open the school meeting, or will it be run just like the general election, where you come and do your vote, and we ticky-checky you off? That's what my understanding That's was. what I think. That's what my understanding you just come, you vote. You come and you vote. On that Tuesday, it. it's still and 7 to 7. It's still 7 to 7? Right. Yeah. My, my understanding of that... <coughs> and I, I, I didn't look as closely at, at the, that part of the meeting, the Australian ballot meeting, but I think that's completely under the jurisdiction of the town clerk and that you would open up the polling station. You don't need a moderator. You don't need anything it's like that. Vote. However, that must be included in the warning. So the warning now this year would say town meeting to be started mm. Saturday. Uh, I forget what the date is, but anyway... 10 a.m. We're whatever time we're going to have it, and then separately, Australian ballot for these issues will be held Tuesday. I'm, just, I'm curious and whether maybe you could ask whether voting by ballot means Australian ballot. Does every ballot vote an Australian ballot, or is there a separate well, kind? It's always of been vote? paper ballot. It's always been paper ballot. Always been paper ballot in the meetings. No, but I'm Wait, well, sorry. but I mean the school. I'm talking about the school. Oh, the school. I'm sorry. The, this, we're talking about OSS. I'm talking about this, the school oh, votes. Are, my mistake. I believe that's Australian ballot. I think yeah, it the is. School district. Yeah, school district is Australian ballot. ballot. So, so that would yeah, certainly so be on Tuesday. That's not just a ballot. Okay. Steve, did I understand correctly that select board members, enlisters, did you say they have to be voted for by Australian ballot? No, no. Not that's Australian, a choice. Just by paper ballot. ballot. Just, uh, paper by ballot. paper ballot. So okay. regardless of when... So that can be on the Saturday. Right. Okay. Regardless of when the meeting is held, at the meeting, those those officers are elected by ballot, and we do it by so a piece of paper, paper in, the, uh -huh. in the ballot box. Yeah. Okay. So that's different from Australian ballot. Australian ballot means having a polling place that's open over... A, Oh. specified period of time okay. and Check people off. come and go into a voting booth. And, and Got it. Okay. So it's not a, a town did meeting not as we that. know mm. it. Yeah. Um, so I'll keep you posted on that. Mm -hmm. um, I'll hear from the Secretary of State hopefully soon. Um, VLCT also recommended asking other moderators what do you do if you have uh, town meeting on Saturday or Sunday or Monday. Is there a moderator's I, workshop this year? There usually yes, is. Yes, I signed up for it. Okay. Yeah. 
and there's also another um, event that VLCT is putting on about uh, right in the morning. Morning. Exactly. Yeah. I'll be there. I'm there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so that's that. And uh, uh, what else? Is here? Okay. That's oh, okay. So there's one more thing, and I, I, we don't need to get into it too much here. But I'll just tell you to come back to this. The, under the statute, it says that the annual town meeting. Uh, May the town may start its annual meeting on any one of the three days preceding the Tuesday, right? <coughs> so you might say, well, how do you end it then? <laughs> I'm working on that because in the statute it says at the end of that meeting, if it's before Tuesday, you, can't end the you must adjourn to. Um, I'm sorry, adjourned until the first Tuesday. So the meeting doesn't adjourn. Well, I think that's true. If you have an if you have Australian you ballots have Australian and you want to have your your open meeting on a Saturday, then you have to have reopen on Tell that to Tuesday the legislators. They left it like this. A meeting so started shall be adjourned until the first Tuesday in March. I don't, the LCT said some towns that hold their meeting on one of those three preceding days just have the meeting and adjourn. Mm -hmm. And they don't adjourn it until they don't come back and, you know, with two or three people and just say, okay, the only order of business here <laughs> is to adjourn yeah, sure. the meeting. There's nothing left to do. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. so it may be a technicality. We'll, we'll get some more information and I'll, I'll report back to you. Yes. A couple of things. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Talking to the Secretary of State's office when we were looking at the options, this didn't come up. <coughs> That's not to say we were asked that's not to say we were asking for a legal opinion, but it's not like they said, you know, here are landmines if you change it to another day. Yeah. And the other thing is other towns are already doing this. So yeah. they don't yeah, they don't get a legal opinion anyway. So we'll just point to their point. find out what they're doing, but maybe, you know, there are plenty of there are a lot of statutes that are ambiguous yeah. and maybe want to be careful about asking questions you don't want to answer to? Just or maybe we're just the tip of the spear, <laughs> and we're doing it the way that people need to do it. Yeah. Just, just we'll find out the hard way. Yeah. yeah. Then you only solve the problem. Because technically, come up. if all of these statutes up, are up. held up mm -hmm. in their raw form, oh, God. none of us <laughs> were properly elected. Mm -hmm. Just for the record. Yeah. I'll put that on record. No one's objected, though. <laughs> exactly. So far, so good. No. <laughs> thank you. Steven, thank you for all of this work. Okay. Thank you. Really, really, really helpful. And in order to, you know, the thought it's of... scary. <laughs> well, the thought of asking our attorney for his opinion, that's, you know, I, no attorney is, except the guys that work for the Secretary of State, are really experts on this particular item of the law, and that would cause that person to have to research and call the Secretary of State. <laughs> I don't think, I hope we don't have to go there. <laughs> well, this is really informative though. Yeah, it's and good. So thank you so it's much. Good it's great to know. Yeah. It's really important to know. We're actually. discussing this at a public meeting, mm -hmm. trying this to figure it out. Really important. There is some ambiguity here. We'll, we'll yep. do our best to make the right decision for the town and um, we'll move forward. Yeah. Thank you. In the most appropriate way that we possibly can. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Steve. Okay. Really appreciate it. Thank you all. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm going to say it's both of them are going to be in the school. Because mm -hmm. you're still in the town hall, correct? I'd love to be out, but yeah, that's what yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, I got myself school. a note here to call the school and ask for both Saturdays. Both Saturdays. Yeah. We're, we're, try, we're trying to get out of the town hall, but we're having no luck. I don't think it's going to happen. No yeah. luck with yeah. contracts. Let's, let's, let's please, please talk no, to the school. Because on Saturday, very much, Mr. we do expect that uh, there will be lots and lots of people. I think it's all attended. to be on yeah. Saturday. I like to be all attended. That's why we moved to Saturday in the first place. Thank you. All right. Mrs. Cerruti. Mm -hmm. Fire Department reported the articles first. Uh, let's start with the articles, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Do you have copies? I need some copies. 
I also brought copies. I did get the email, but I mm -hmm. James. Did you guys? So the one that you sent this afternoon at two o'clock is that it had two attachments. Both of my attachments are the same. No, are there's a tiny change. Is that small change? There's a change in the date. Small change. In the Thank you. A small Not change sure. in the amount you of this. Uh, I'm not sure why it said there was two. There's that, there was only one. I, we, uh, okay. we made a date change to uh, Article 3. Did you get I have so some. Here's you guys need some? I have uh, a few copies here. I'd like another. I think I just gave away my two copies. Thank you. Um, so to address the change that I sent out earlier today, uh, it was on Article 3. Uh, previously, it read, shall the town appropriate up to $100,100 to the Woodbury Volunteer Fire Department for the purpose of financing the cost of construction of a new fire emergency operations center at a total cost of $1,300,000 due January 1st, 2025. We changed the date on this to November 1st, 2024 because our yeah. loan payment is due in November. Okay. Did you get your 85 or whatever it was this year already? We'll get that in January. So we kicked that, we kicked that. Uh, yeah, what was happening before when we asked for a large sum too early, the taxes don't come until like October, right? Yeah. So we were trying to get all this stuff. We went originally to January not knowing the bank set us a payment date in November. Yes. So, we'll, and with, so it's, we think it's okay because after the tax due date, but mm -hmm. before our loan payment. I understand. So this that amount is replacing the eighty-five thousand a year, or it's added to it? No, replacing. 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 Okay. So in the future, it'll probably be that. Yeah, I mean, what the the loan is a ten year arm. So if we stick with this loan, the interest rate will adjust again in ten years, ten years. Mm -hmm. for this rest of the loan. Okay. Um, we have the option, which we had discussed, but I don't want to do until we're done. So we can. The problem in this whole process is, as you've seen with getting contractors, getting anything mm -hmm. done is we've got like nine balls in the air, and you can't make a decision on ball one till ball two comes down until you know. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're closing this down. So we have the option, if this, and, and this would be one we'd have to work with the select board, is going to a bond, mm. which would then set the payment for a 20-year schedule. Years. And it would just be in the budget every year. We wouldn't have to vote on it every year. But that would require the select board to hold a um, Australian ballot vote, mm. which this wouldn't qualify. I've already spoken with. So that's a conversation I think we should have. But after, you know, this is what we're done with. This yeah, is right, finished. After this is decided. Right. Yes. That's the thought process. Mm -hmm. um, we could do nothing, but that's a conversation for maybe next next. Mm -hmm. So, next what is the total amount of years you're thinking that you're going to finance it? Twenty so years. Right, Thirty this, years. This is twenty five. Twenty five. So, years. what happened in this process is interest rates shot from two percent to five and a half percent. Everybody it's knows. It's supposed to be lower in the first of the year. I hope so. <laughs> Heard it on the news yeah. tonight. Yeah, so what we have now is a construction mm -hmm. loan at seven point something percent, which is for a year. That has a balloon payment in November, and then it transfers to the mortgage that we have. So we kept the we, we made some significant cuts to the building because we're we're dealing with higher costs and higher interest. So we cut the floor and we cut the radiant heat, so we cut a whole bunch of things to get not not have way too much out of line, but this is how we landed. Okay. And, uh, so we I'm thinking we have a May start on this, but we had to commit to financing this fall this fall to make that happen. If we waited to adjust the number, and I know that seems presumptuous, but it really isn't because the, the, it was the least expensive of the options. Mm -hmm. Because if we waited till town meeting day, and then we would be another year, mm -hmm. and then those cross just mm -hmm. that that's been what we're running into. Because the way things are, you're finding you're trying to hire someone when you see, when you. Contract's not going to talk to you 
until you have cash in hand, mm -hmm. and they're not going to sign a contract. So, and if you're not signing contracts mm -hmm. now, you're not going to be starting mm -hmm. in the spring. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's a very strange Oof. construction market, mm -hmm. but that's where we're at. Mm -hmm. So that's that's where that is, and we understand that it's not ideal, but it just is. Just I don't know what else mm -hmm. to do. We weighed all the options that were mm -hmm. possible, and this was the least expensive option. Yep. So if interest rate comes down, it could be cheaper than. than yeah, we could, well, we could ultimately refinance it. That I mean, as I said, if we go back to like the bond market is three and a half percent right now. That would be my recommendation is mm -hmm. that the easiest way for the town to pay, but it requires a an Australian ballot vote. The select board would need to hold the a special loan. meeting, and so we'd need yeah. to have that conversation, put that package together to bring to the voters, but that's not for this year. I think it would be for next year or the year after, whenever this is all set. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what I recommend doing, but that's really going to be ultimately up to between the select board and the town voters. And that would be after construction, right? Yeah, I would reckon. It's just there's too many. There's too many balls just, in the air. Mm -hmm. This has been one of the hardest things I've ever done. Like, we've got the flooding. Our building is mm -hmm. wrecked. We're sitting in a half-insulated building that mm -hmm. would barely function. We don't even have a bathroom. Mm -hmm. and, uh, its its future is up in the air, mm -hmm. so we really need to get this done. We almost flooded again last mm -hmm. week. It was just within that poor culvert that they just put in. Took a terrible beating. Mm -hmm. I've got photographs of it right up full to the top with water going around the side. So we can't keep depending mm -hmm. on that. Yes. We're not in mm -hmm. this conversation. Then morphs into in mm -hmm. our insurance coverage, which is the second reason for our budget increase. Right? Yeah. You, you wanted to go over mm -hmm. that. So before we were paying the town uh, $9,000 for the insurance through uh, Vermont League of Cities and Towns. Um, <clears throat> we have... Uh, Say that again, nine what? It was nine something. Nine. Right here. It's it's a budget. Budget. Yeah, I don't get a budget. I had two of uh, these. So that, that was in the original email with the budget. Oh, okay. Brandon, would you like one as well? Oh, I can peek on. Thank okay. you. Um, this one? Yes. So this would be in regards to just the, the we originally had a three and a half percent budget increase is what we held it to, but then with our need to sh switch insurance, raise it up to whatever it is, nine something, or nine and a half total. Go ahead. Uh, so we went up $11,000 um, mm -hmm. to 20000 uh, We are switching to, uh, I can't remember. It's what. called the uh, Volunteer Firefighters Insurance Corporation. So. Because our issue right now is we are having the same issue, but ours is much larger scale. With We've had zero uh, communication with the Vermont League of Cities and Towns, and we're holding the bag for almost $200,000. Um, and they're telling us that they're going to um, prorate all of our... Pro so we don't even know what's going to happen. They, they haven't even commented on our submittal. Once we argue about that, we're going to get prorated. Rescue trucks leave it. Um, so I don't know what percentage. I've talked to the city of Montpelier. They're in the same boat. They lost an engine. Mm -hmm. So this is. Oh, I got to hear what this is. Okay, they got some going. Um, go ahead. So this is a payment that the fire department themselves will make, or is this a payment that's going to go through? Right. Green? So what would happen? So, so the proposal would be we're going to still be on the lead till Ju Ju July because our new budget doesn't start till July. We're hoping to switch to this company. And we would then not be on. Then you could pull us off the town's part, which would reduce your costs. Right. And we right. would hold the insurance ourselves, so there would be no more billing and all that. So um, because talking with Montpelier, they my fear is that. We're going to get absolutely hammered by the insurance company. I'm trying to remain calm because they've been very difficult to deal with. Um, and For a year now. Yeah, For years now. Imagine your own home burned to the ground and you're six months into it and your insurance company won't tell you what they're going to pay. You don't, you don't trust the fact that FEMA said they're going to pick up the difference? Well, FEMA's, well, FEMA. are they going to be 75% or 90%? Well, we don't know. See, they don't know. So we could be looking at... 75% of whatever percentage they don't pay. So, and then just to give you kind of a picture, like Montpelier, so if you're looking at future damages, to think about the town garage, for example, which is the other large mm -hmm. asset, uh, they are giving them about $100,000 for a $750,000 engine. Mm -hmm. That's something, and, and this new company mm -hmm. will do agreed value. So our engine's one's worth about three fifty. dollars we at least can agree to that value so you know what you're going to get. What they're doing is, uh, City of Montpelier, I met with them and they're like, they just offered us 103000 for a 
less than 10 year old truck. And what, talking to other towns, can you imagine the whole town garage burns and lose all your equipment and mm. you're sitting here six months and okay. So, so we're thinking sitting in the floodplain where we still have equipment, do we want to continue down this road of being exposed? That's, that's the argument, right? We uh, also, we can't, FEMA can't tell us what they're going to give us until we right. settle with the insurance company. Right. And because it's been we can't next talk to, to the insurance company. Right. right. They, they, they just gonna yelled at me. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, we don't need us for FEMA. And I had to hang up because I was so angry. Oh, geez. We've had previous issues in the past with damages to trucks that yeah. League of Cities and Towns wouldn't cover either. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. this company has told us they would have covered without issue. And I'm guessing you've talked to other fire departments who have used Yeah, this so company? the majority of the departments in our situation, private nonprofits, use this company. Mm -hmm. They have all had bad experiences with it, or their towns just simply didn't put them on the policy. So oh, gosh. that's kind of where we are. I just, I, uh, to give you a responsible, how can we stay responsible to the town? I think this is the right decision to make. Robin, well, you had your hand up. Sorry. But that will only be for any claims after July 1st. So you're still going to be dealing with leagues of cities and towns. Right. Oh, yeah. For this. There's going to be so this interim. you're still going to have that headache and maybe now two headaches. Until, yeah, until July. Well, the new company won't cover anything except Correct. anything that happens for after, after July right. we 1st. Would have, we wouldn't be able to switch Hopefully based on our fiscal year budget until July 1st. I've already told the other company that. Mm -hmm. So. We're going to fight this fight no matter what. Yeah. Until the middle of summer. Right. There's going to be this a transition period, which is uncomfortable, and I don't know any way around it. But that was really the big driver, and that they wanted to have this conversation. And, and to be warned, I had this meeting with Cal's. I met with you, met with the board, and I met with the town administrator. He's even like, should we stay on as Catalyst? Should we stay on the mm -hmm. BLCT? Because I really opened his eyes. He goes, if you're having such a big problem, what if we had a big loss? Mm -hmm. Are we going to be sitting here holding the bag? Uh -huh. The answer yeah. is yes. The answer is from talking to the Randolph Centers, the Lindenvilles, the Johnsons, where their fire stations burned down. The answer is yes. They had a terrible mm -hmm. time, oh, horrible oh, experiences mm -hmm. dealing with this company. Now, did you get a prepayment through the LTC insurance? We pay quarterly, right? No, when you had the floods, did you get? Oh, no, okay. So they gave us. They, I, I had some needed equipment. They gave me twenty-five thousand toward. This That's is all. VLTC. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's after about a month. And then I haven't, they just, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if this was my house, they'd have been fired already. Mm. I just, even if it was 10,000 more for my, I just, you can't yep. live this way. Because I just switch your situation to your town office is destroyed. You guys have no place to be. Mm. And you're sitting there renting something. I don't know what you'd be doing. And they're like, well, we don't know. That's literally what your address like. We'll tell you another two or three. I'm not even sure this will be settled by town meeting day. Mm. No and we're, we're on the clock for FEMA. To finish the, we've this. got our projects in, but we don't have our, what do they call those, essential elements questions. <laughs> yeah, so the e -E whatever. I can't answer them because one of the questions is, what do you anticipate receiving from the BLCT? And I tried to have a polite conversation with them. Mm -hmm. Can you kind of give us, because like, y'all put in what you think your couch is worth, and you know, we think this is, first off, we got to have the conversation. Well, if I say that's worth 10 grand, you're only going to say it's worth five. You could be losing. Right, if it's going to cost me ten thousand to replace it, they're only going to pay me five, and then they're only going to give me seventy percent of that. Think about the you uh -huh. could be looking at not one seventy, but a hundred, and now the town's now going to have to make up <laughs> female break. So, so you know what I mean? It's just I just don't know. It's a really frustrating position to be in. It's not a position I want to be in for my personal house because I know it's not fun to go to town meeting with budget increases either. But here we are. Mm -hmm. But I can't. I can't. Advise doing anything other than this. Okay. It wouldn't be my, it'd be just against my conscience to do it. So there it is. You got any more to add to that? No. Nope. You more or less covered it. Yeah. Anybody has questions about anything of the articles or the budget or for it? So is your your budget by increase from 122 to 137. That a lot of that is that. The 10 is that insurance. Yeah. The rest of it was less than like five grand or other. It's yeah. like our Here biggest drive. Our, our budget is really pretty lean. There's not a lot of discretionary spending. The biggest mm -hmm. discretionary pot we have is about 15 for equipment. Everything else, maintenance, mm -hmm. fuel, electricity, insurance, dispatching, stipends, we don't really have any control over that. Mm -hmm. As you'll find out when you're going to do yours, you'll see how yeah. many things more expensive. Yeah, I just have a recommendation. <clears throat> Article 3. To take due November 1st, 2024, which is at the end, and move it after the comma yes, with the very volunteer fire department. So it's very clear that the one hundred thousand one hundred dollars is due November first. 
That's fine. Yeah, we don't object to that. Yeah. 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 Well, the only one, or James, um, the only one I have a question on is the recruitment and retention fund. I'm just yep. kind of going through numbers and mm -hmm. seeing, like, it looks like there was less spent than there was allotted for in 2022, 2023. Um, I'm just wondering your thoughts on the increase and also, like, what that money goes towards. Uh, <clears throat> so we let, we brought it to 23,000 uh, last budget cycle because our call volume increased. Um, we also started covering catalysts for medical calls, so we anticipated a larger increase in stipends, um, which comes out of that fund. Uh, we also had a surge of new members, and we have to buy them uh, our uniform shirts. Well, that's not going to be out of the retention fund. That's out. Of, that's just the stipend she's asking about. Okay, just the stipends. So, so stipends uh, pay for calls and they pay for um, trainings okay. and the equipment check nights. So are they still like ten dollars? It's just ten dollars per person. Wow, wow. It, it, in call volume wise, I was just doing my run sheets tonight. Mm -hmm. We we did eighty calls from January first to June thirtieth. From June thirtieth to now, we've done one hundred and thirty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. wow. We're at two fourteen. Two fourteen to fifteen. This is call two fifteen. They just left on. Mm -hmm. We were, this week we've been. I've had one full night's sleep. We were up all night mm -hmm. in Greensboro. Then the previous Christmas Eve and Christmas night, we were out a good mm -hmm. portion of the night. So it's just, I, it's just, I don't know what, it's a staggering mm -hmm. amount of it. It's yeah. stupid. Mm -hmm. It's 76%. So we kind of anticipated that. Mm -hmm. it's, we can see what's happening. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And you took our, the airboat to Montpelier, too, didn't we've you? We've been to Montpelier. We fished a guy out of the river in Calais. Yeah, we spent the night in Montpelier down looking for that guy that's missing Was in the he river. Was still missing. Did, oh, he's, he's still, still missing. missing. I oh, assume okay. he's in the river. Great. So the one in Calais was in the river? Oh, it's, I'm a car might still be in the river. Have you driven by there just before you get to Yates? Mm. Down over that bank. I don't believe it is. It would take a diver to get that car. <laughs> I was going to say, Dan said he went by and they had two wreckers there. Oh, they did fitch it because they yeah. wanted to be up in water up to their chest mm. to get the car. To get the car. Because they and came over the scanner and they said, make sure you bring a ladder. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's you know, tracks <laughs> going through the field down to the river. To the river. So they must have fished it out. Danny oh. saw them. They probably fished. I haven't looked to see, mm -hmm. but it wasn't going to be an easy recovery. Let's mm -hmm. just say that. Did mm -hmm. the driver survive that one? Or? Yeah, it's another one of our challenging folks that has a friend pick him up and haul him away. So it leaves yeah. us in a position: oh. do we commit resources to go look inside this car? Oh, yeah. Because we could kill. It was the same situation. The river in Montpelier was very dangerous. It's nighttime, yeah. so I'm meeting with Montpelier's leaders. Berlin's leaders, who are the two companies we're with mm -hmm. mutual aid wise, and do we commit our resource to the river in the dark when we can't see anybody with the high risk of injuring or killing one of our members? And they didn't even know that we the guy had nobody, I'm pretty sure the guys in the river, nobody actually saw him. The story was the guy mm -hmm. parked his car, the lady saw him walk to the river and never come back. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been seen since, mm -hmm. but the river is deep and it moves very quickly. So oh. you get past the railroad bridge, and we were okay until it gets past and it narrows up and it speeds up. So we mm. uh, all opted not to go in the river. We had the Snow the Swiftwater idiom. team, and they opted yeah. not oh, to go okay. in the river because there's no you can't see anybody. So, so are we, how much do you risk your folks? Yeah. So the Snow team has real divers. They have well, we're mm -hmm. a still water asset. So one or two mile an hour water, I'm only getting when it's plus five to mm -hmm. ten miles an hour. Mm -hmm. You need to have a swift water oh, training, which oh, is a lot different mm -hmm. than what we do. Because well, the water's moving. Have you ever been in mm -hmm. moving river water? Mm -hmm. It's quite Not dangerous. Sure. There's strainers, there's rocks, there's all kinds oh, of things that can hurt you. Just walking through a yeah. foot of flood water was kind of scary to see how you were, strong that was. You supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, well, it was, it was done that night. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that it really is a driver of all this, wouldn't you say? It's the increased cost. Of, there's just more calls, a yeah. lot more calls. Uh, we've been being called mutual aid a lot more. They call mutual aid a lot more, too. So. Business. I don't know, it's just, we, we really scratched. We had this mm -hmm. really exciting because our budget increased like 3.2%, and then we, we just the mm -hmm. deal with the insurance company. I don't know what else mm -hmm. to do. I just, it's really frustrating. Okay. Really frustrating. Does that cover those articles? Very well. I can just do Thank my quick you. recovery mm -hmm. report. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. For a fire department. So we're kind of everywhere. All right, right. We have, nothing's really changed. We've, if our building's been partially insulated. The guy could give us one day, so we don't have full insulation yet, but we're, hopefully that'll be done pretty, pretty soon. Uh, no, no word from insurance. 
we aren't quite done with our FEMA paperwork for the reasons we discussed. Uh, right. so we need also need to meet with the um, Michelle, our, our liaison, right. because mm -hmm. we, uh, yeah. So because I just don't. Some of it I don't know how to finish the. That's your FEMA rep. Yeah, because right. I want to. I want to do the. The calls are difficult because they want you to do it on one of their spreadsheets. Mm. But how do I break twenty-seven calls into one spreadsheet? Mm. <laughs> so I need a little help with that. Um, mm. So that's it. We're, I don't know what to do. Um, and the buyout. Well, it's all. <laughs> so everything is predicated on the previous yeah. thing. This is another one of those nine balls in the air okay. things. Yeah. Um, one of those that's a state process so we have kind of a three prong prong process going on with the existing building a between insurance and FEMA proceeds we may just repair that building mm -hmm. I've paid an architect for an evaluation which I haven't received yet I got to call him mm -hmm. I've got I've got a uh, I've got a surveyor coming because I need an elevation certificate for mm -hmm. FEMA in the state mm -hmm. so we can determine where we sit in the floodplain so that's 600 bucks that I don't have, but I got to pay. Mm -hmm. and he's coming in a couple, three weeks, I hope. Um, so that's a piece of the pie on the buyout potential. Mm -hmm. So there's one option: is repair this building, make it more flood resilient. Mm -hmm. and those two pieces need to be there. Uh, the next, and those two pieces still need to be there. For the next part is, um, they may buy out the building completely and pay us for the property, and then that's a town-involved process, which right. we mm -hmm. talked about before. The third option is FEMA may say, okay, you're out of the floodplain, but your building's a disaster and not flood resilient. So we may, they may pay up to 75 to 90 percent to tear that building down and rebuild, rebuild it, it in a flood resilient fashion, which would be okay with us because we've always anticipated using that square footage again mm -hmm. anyway. So mm -hmm. where we're going to land is, is probably a year or more out, as I'm right. guessing. So they might even. Re repair, rebuild in the same location? Correct. Oh, wow. Well, they would do things like you go to Waterbury's Fire Station, they put the cement up. I'm not a big yeah. fan of that one, but mm. they built the cement up above the floodplain and they mm. would design it so that you just raise the doors. As the water does, the flood goes through, you wrench the floor oh. off. And, <laughs> but if we did that, it would we would only be storing our boat trailer, our equipment trailer in one spot. Oh. Couldn't, couldn't use it for most of your gear. Mm. Yeah, we wouldn't be. It's going across the road. Right. We just got to mm. get out of there. It's just, mm. It just has to happen. Um, I don't think there's any question about that. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, I don't know where that's all going to land. The state, the FEMA said they would come in. This is really frustrating, but they would come in and build us a four thousand square foot temporary building, <laughs> but we can't use it permanently. <laughs> what do they build it out of? Well, they're doing it in Cabot. They, they're building them a temporary fire station, yeah. and then they're going to see. We have funding for our fire station, so mm -hmm. we can't get FEMA funding. Mm -hmm. So we're out on there. And they're building them a temporary building, like it's 44,000 or 4,200 square feet, that they're then going to move into until in two years or so they'll build them a new fire station. Then they have to do something else with that old building. It can't be the fire. And so he said, the guy walked up and said, we'll give you a million bucks to build a new building right on the site. And I said, well, good, then we'll just use that. Well, it can't be your permanent building, right? And I was like, I almost fell over. I'm like, so where would we build it? Well, we could build it next to it, but then you couldn't use it like Oh, so we could use it for a maximum, a maximum of five years. Right. Uh, it would be what would be built on is the steel building. Yeah, they put up a butler uh, building or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we would have the option at the end of that five years to buy it for scrap value if we chose to. Right. Yeah. So, but it's just it's the it's the worst possible choice. Right. Right. It's like so I'm sitting there's like but it's like I I got out my calculator and I said we're spending 1.3 I got the new building all permitted so your own measure you'd give me a million bucks to build a temporary building but you won't give me 1.3 million for a permanent I said would you give me a million bucks for a permanent building he goes no so I, I it just you see we're stuck in yeah, la la land still yeah. <laughs> we're just if, if I look frustrated and I get intensive because it just it has been like it's never it's ending. ending. Uh, it's, 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 it's like beating your head so you continually exactly against the, the wall. Like. Right. It just, it's like there seems to be no resolution. And I just wish I had better. I mean, if we went that route, they wouldn't be able to start construction until May. Until after we're already working on the other one. Right. So I, I just, I, it's really frustrating. Yeah. They need, they would need to build that on the site. But we have no other site. We, are we not, like Cabot had another site. I don't know right. where we would build it. And, how they got permits to build something in a month. It's took, taken me a year. It took me almost a year and three or four months to get all the permits, like 13 permits. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it cost, you know, I think, I think between labor and volunteer, we haven't spent any tax money on this yet. It was almost 200 grand mm -hmm. just on permits and engineering. 
And I still get an engineer that doesn't want to deal with our retaining wall. I'm just going to have a contractor do it because mm -hmm. they can't. Every time you call the engineer, it's $500. Mm -hmm. And they go, well, I don't know what to do. And it's like, okay, well, I didn't have to pay $500 for that. <laughs> but mm -hmm. there we are. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you shouldn't wish this on your enemy, let's just say. I, yep. I, I thought I was going to. Literally, you feel like you're in the twilight zone at some of the meetings I've been to. And then the guy, whoosh, he goes, I'm not worried about the money. I said, well, it seems like you are because you aren't going to give it to us for useful purpose, only non-useful purposes. <laughs> Ew, so, so wow. town hall wise, if we can get a, the rest of the insulation in there, they're, they're, they're hired to put a door on our bathroom, re sheetrock it, tape it, and paint it, we could move out of the town hall. Now Let's that's, not plan on that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. No, 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 I don't know. Right. It's just, that's what I'm just saying. It's right now, it's yep. not in my control. Let's so. just go back to the fact that we're not going to worry about that. Yeah. Right. Because that would be because it's not fun. Because like this medical call, when you're doing this in the rain, they got to go to this building, get the rescue truck, go to the call, come back, partner from the town hall, go to the fire station, get a key, go around, bring the stuff in, wash it in there, go back to the station, get the. I think you know what I'm saying. It's like just it's yep. just a nightmare yep. operating right Sounds now. Sounds awful. Is and the uh, plumbing cold in there? <laughs> the plumbing still connected at the town hall? Yeah, yeah, that's all working. You better shut the wall. He's in charge of that. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we keep it shut because we couldn't afford, nobody could afford to heat that part, so oh. we're not heating it unless we're in there occasionally. What do you have it on for temperature right now? Just 50 or 55, whatever you usually yeah. get left. I was going to say you should do at least 55. Yeah, we've been, we, we, just like you leave it, we, we, we shut that door and. The only thing is, like, you like a call like that, you get a call, they got to come in do the paperwork, it's cold in there. Right. Which is not mm -hmm. fun, but we're mm -hmm. tolerating it. Mm -hmm. So, things that the board, and I, and I wish the EM director was here, we've got a pile of flood recovery supplies that, mm -hmm. that were donated. We have no place for that. So, that's something the board's going to want to look at, What because they'll still be there, no place to put them. There's wheelbarrows and cleaning supplies and brooms and shovels. And, and they, just, they were handing stuff out for free, so I took mm -hmm. it because I thought it'd be good for the town. We need to find a place to put it. My recommendation would be to go buy a storage can somewhere. Do you Let's have get in yours? Where we put it? I got, I got some on the bottom. Well, maybe you got it. So that's a good, because I mean, then we have this stuff for next yeah. time. We don't want to get rid of it. Let's buy a $500 sea can. Well, well, they're more like 2500 yeah, or 3000 right now. They're like uh, they're But you thought you might have room. I just want to screw you back. on how much it is. It's not, it's like a little corner. You can, it literally would fit in that little corner right there. It's not a lot of stuff. Yeah, I can probably find room. Okay. We'll work on that because what I think we're going to do is pick through it and the perishable things give to the food shelf, like the the soaps and the things like that, give mm -hmm. to the food shelf and then take the rest of the buckets and mops and put it in somewhere. Okay, mm -hmm. but we'll have to resolve that when the time comes. It's fine where it's sitting right now. Okay. Alfie, if you can find space. Yeah, I know. I well, can find we can, we can mm -hmm. talk Because I think, I think that moving forward we would have these supplies instead of yeah. just letting them go. I mean, in fact, mm -hmm. that little, there's a little shed there that's beside the salt shed. Mm -hmm. Yep. We, we've taken all the stuff out of that and put it into oh. the conics box mm -hmm. so we could use, we have space. Mm -hmm. we okay, it's not a lot. It'd probably take about five by five or six by six space. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can help out with that. Okay, and that'll be, so we'll work on that when the time comes to the mm -hmm. uh, The last thing would be dealing with the highway, the bridge project. I guess yep. they're calling that a bridge. Um, they're calling it a bridge. That's it's what they call it, a bridge. It looks like a culvert to me, but they're calling it, is it a culvert. bridge. Yeah. Um, they moved off our site, and we're, we've spent probably somewhere between three and five thousand on engineering for our new replacement septic field, and we're in in the back and forth with the state over recovering that money. Um, the the cost for the new uh, endless filter bed septic system is about thirty k, so I need to get that from them before we start because I can't afford. They're like, we'll just pay for all this stuff. And I'm like, like the wells run and dry. We're kind of like, we just don't have any money. Uh, we have, we're missing a lot of things we need, so we just don't have the money to buy it, and we can survive it. Again, with the insurance company not paying and having to do all this, we just don't have any more money. So I'm in process with them over how to get this money. Um, and then the second part is the negotiations on the cost increase for their delay that they caused us, which is somewhere in the $91,000 range. So I. We're in process. Yeah, good. So the, the, there's room on the flat area for the septic system? Yeah, so what did I, I wish I'd brought a drawing. So yeah. the building's going to sit there, and this will be tucked back up. on. So it's essentially a, the septic tank pumps up to this. I've never seen one. It's a big wooden box, mm -hmm. and they plant flowers on the top, and the mm -hmm. leachate goes in there, and I guess it does leachate things. Oh, interesting. Build okay. one, I don't know. Build one. The build. So it's a great water It's called an ended, endless filter bed system. Oh, okay. It looks like a retaining, like a... 
pressure treated retaining wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, what it looked like on the drawing looked like a plan, a big, big plan of box that should be tucked back against the bank. Um, and when we talked about a couple meetings ago, there'll be a it, it removes a bunch of needs for pumps for us. We'll be able to do a gravity drain across the town's mm -hmm. land and into the river for our stormwater and all that type of stuff. So it, we'll see how this all plays mm -hmm. out. You're not going to worry about permitting for that anymore. But it's all, it's, he's, all, no, he's permitting that. All, that's permitted. permitted. <laughs> the only thing not permitted no, right I mean, now is the septic <laughs> system. Yeah. Right. The only thing not permitted is the septic yeah. system. That's that, that's got to get repermitted. You had an existing system there. So. Correct, which was permitted. Which was right. permitted, right? Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And the engineer, I've set him off to, to work on it, so we should have a permit in a mm -hmm. month or so. Again, this is a, a, the upside of this is we get a great septic system at no yeah. cost to us. So I think that's great for the time. Because that other system, when we kind of dug into, it, it was like eh, pretty marginal. Yeah. I don't know. We probably look at better placement in a few years. Be that's a an upside in the whole thing. Long haul, yeah. it might be. I think it's the right way it's to go. It's the right way to go in the long haul. Yeah. yeah. And they did a nice job. They cleaned our site up really nice. The site looks pretty good right yeah. now. And they've got all this heartburn over that bank that's slumped, but hasn't moved an inch. Really? It's not we don't do anything. Something about, about it looks like a new slump, but I guess it's just yeah, because no, it hasn't, of, hasn't yeah, moved the, the, uh, the snow. Literally, there's it. ledge right there. Yeah. And then if you were ugly, well, you could just dig it back to the ledge and leave it. I don't think it would ever bother anything. That's what I do at my house, but it's not my yeah. house. So. <laughs> That's the problem. The whole backdrop. Yeah, if you look, that bank kind of went whoop. It dropped down about 10 or 12 feet, but it was a big yeah. chunk. It just went whoop and it just slumped up against the the building. Sits five. You see that uh, concrete case on is where our well is. There's a drilled well. We got a cap and all that. But the building sits five feet in front. It's not even near that. So as you get to the other end, there's a little bit of retaining wall that'll have to be built, mm -hmm. which is we've known all along. Right. And there's water to deal with. There. You're at the foot of a hill. You're at the foot of a hill. So, mm -hmm. so those are called mm -hmm. gravity slats. Yeah. It's when basically you have a slump on top of bedrock. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so it's a slump. Mm -hmm. It's a slump. Yeah. But you call them gravity slides only because it's a veneer mm -hmm. of water underneath mm -hmm. sediment. And mm -hmm. so that slides, once yeah. it's been cleared, doesn't have anything rooting it anymore. Yeah, it can't go. It can't go. Mm -hmm. Now it's done. So what's going to happen is they'll put up a retaining yeah. wall <laughs> and then they'll slope that bank back and okay. it'll be done. Yeah. That's the plan. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a good engineered solution. Without the engineer, <laughs> do you have anything we should add that I forgot? I don't think so. I think you covered it. Not that I'm aware of, at least. James, thanks for all the work. <laughs> no, appreciate it, really. Yeah. Paul, again, I like thanks for having to have more here. <laughs> this, I got to tell you, it's one of the most difficult experiences I've ever. I, I, I just. I, you know, when you decided not to run for the select board again, you complained about how much work you spent on that paving out there, and that was nothing compared to. Nothing what compared to this, like to add this. Look, I just when they added the cargo project, it's like, oh, just give me a couple more balls to be thrown in the air. Yeah. Yeah. And lucky, they're going to be, they have till um, May. May, end of May of 24 to be done. They're le when they're leaving, they're leaving. They're not coming back. So you should have your lawn planted, your trees done. That's his goal. I talked to the foreman and he says, we ain't coming back unless we absolutely have to. So I suspect there'll be some issues they may need to address yeah. in the spring, but that's their goal is to... They even put back two little pieces of the wooden fencing that, that was up there. Beautiful guardrail that they put. I saw that Yeah, all those day loads that I threw over on the bank. You're, gonna, you're supposed to get a couple more trees according to their plan to replace them. 50-year-old so maples? That'd be nice. Yeah, that was, that was hard to watch. Yeah. That was hard, yeah. yeah. I watched that. I was like, ooh. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it is what it is. It's done. Let's hope it gets done. Yeah. It's not done. Any questions for either one of us or anybody or not? Just thank you for all the work. Thank you. I didn't hide anything with this. There it is. It's all laid out in the open for everybody to see. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for all the hard work. Yeah, we'll keep you informed on, you know, fall budgets pass and how that insurance change is yeah. going to happen. I don't know what that's going to look like. We'll have to. Sure. Yeah. It's not a problem I have to solve right now. So no, we'll let's focus on the short term after, after March. So and that, they'll yeah. find me tarred and feathered out on the sidewalk, peeing to a pole. That and I'll fun. clean you up. Something. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be on a Saturday this time. I just want to get some Christian. You're the one who cleaned him up. You're the one who gets to take his hat as cheap. <laughs> 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 Thanks, James. Yeah, nobody wants the job. <laughs> All right. Sorry, we've used up enough of your time. No, Thank that's you for your time. Thank you very much. Yeah. We appreciate it. All right. Um, gosh, Mr. Larrabee, your turn.
Well, my report, we'll be feather. My report is nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the first on the agenda was the Valley Lake curve <coughs> space. I'm going to recommend fifty thousand for the budget. Fifty k. Yeah. And how should we separate that among our? <coughs> categories like equipment and material well, there's and be equipment there's going to be there will be material uh, this is going to be just one item line i'm not going to be oh okay one oh, okay line, that's it it's fine is this for winston moore's yes okay yeah. yeah so we had budgeted hardly anything before but uh, I mean, well, when we for when the we board first approved it, said they were talking about the fact that it wasn't going to cost very much because anyway. they were going to do it in their own t right. within, budget within time. Right, within budget. the existing. Right. Yeah. But, but that that's not going to work. We want, she wants a different a, a set line item for this work. So, mm -hmm. do we have to break that out of the other line items? Like there's going to be there's going to be stone there's going to be gravel there's going to be culverts. No, it can all. We'll just item line it. <clears throat> You'll code it. It's going to be one boom done. So when we budget for gravel, for example, we won't include that. It's not going to be within gravel. It's going to be its own item line. So we're not dispersing it. Right. So essentially, we're looking at your pay. Our, the our only thing that's not going to be included budgets. in that is your pay. Our overall budget is going up fifty thousand because of this job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. That's okay. the idea. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So I can still plan on using gravel my budgeted gravel for other projects around. Correct. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. That well, not other projects. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the agenda. Okay. Uh, I just fixed it. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I can just label them. Any work or material that I put onto that job, I'll just label yeah. it. Valley Lake curve, yeah. And we'll have a code yep. for I, it. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so other than that, we have started, because of the weather, has been cooperating a little bit. Uh, I'm able to start putting up my stockpile for spring. Oh, the gravel. Okay. The gravel so stockpile. you haven't have been asking that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, which I understand FEMA will also cover mm -hmm. that. So I'm coding those invoices also. Yeah, as I noticed code. that. Yeah. Yeah, for mm -hmm. FEMA. For FEMA. So other than that, um, <clears throat> the amount of gravel that you used on the various repair <clears throat> projects that wasn't already counted on those sheets that Skip's doing when you talk about material. The stockpile. Uh, it, it was. Yeah. It we was. pulled invoices you know, from like two, three months prior. Okay. So yeah. So it's already okay. Right. Yeah. The, yeah FEMA. Will, we don't get paid twice. We won't get paid. Okay. I'm sure FEMA will catch that. Right. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Well, uh, we talked about using the current price as opposed to the price that was right, paid for. Right. Yeah. This last rain event that we had with the snow melting and the rain on top of it, uh, West Woodbury, mm -hmm. we had two culverts that got overtaken and, blown up. Yeah. and lost the road out considerably. So mm -hmm. we went up and fixed that and ended up putting two larger culverts in place of them mm -hmm. so that this doesn't happen again. Okay. Um, and that, I don't believe we're going to meet the FEMA uh, quota for. So that'll just be out of our own budget, but that, it had to be done. I mean, there's right. there's still there was no access. Right, there's still a couple of culverts up there that in the spring I want to go replace as well, upsize, because it's just it's just very clear that they're not big they're enough not for big. these yeah. events that we mm -hmm. keep having. Mm -hmm. so. And our events are gonna continue like this. So yeah. It's not like, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, not mentioned. It's gonna get worse. So other than that, um, I actually did have Greg come in and work some for that event up there uh, just to get it done. But he's been using his time off. He's got an operation come in, and he January first he goes on to retirement anyway. So. so that means he's done as of now. He's mm -hmm. pretty mm -hmm. much. Done. He wants to, after his operation, he wants to still fill in for us and help us out yeah. part time. Mm -hmm. um, so, so has he worked at all since he came back from his operation? 
From his sick leave? Uh, from his vacation. Yeah. Uh, he worked right. a vacation. couple of days last week yeah. for that event uh -huh. in Westwood. Okay. Um, but I don't, I, I'm a little nervous about having him work uh -huh. just because of his, the next operation that he needs. Oh, he's having another on, on his back? Well, similar to the operation mm -hmm. he had on his back, but this one's in his neck. Isn't oh, yeah. Yeah. that's more dangerous. So oh, he, oh you know, it would just take a slip or, mm -hmm. or a small mm -hmm. fall and, you know, things would change about it. So. Before the operation or after? Either way. Either way? Either way, yeah. 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 The fall would be Ooh. detrimental. Okay. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to, you know. Encourage him not to. Yeah. Kill himself and I'm going. Yeah. And I did talk to Dave today mm -hmm. and he's willing to come in and fill in <coughs> off and on a day here and there. Okay. Um, so we're kind of covered. I think we're in pretty so. good shape yeah. with him. As far as the winter goes, for somebody sick or somebody mm -hmm. just needs a day for rest or whatever. So Dave will come in for that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm guessing you return the excavator. Excavator has gone back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm and sure you'll miss it. I already do. <laughs> <laughs> but it had to go. I mean, yeah. I, just, I just couldn't find time to get to the, the county road extension mm -hmm. down in there. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll pick up in the spring. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Whether we do with it our, with our own machines or or we rent one again or whatever we do. But, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's in the docket for FEMA also, so. Oh, right. And mm -hmm. we've got, I think it's 18 months from whenever to, yeah. so uh, that, as long as so we do it early in the spring, yeah. we'll still be able to get paid for that. Anytime next summer. Did uh, any railings get put up on the rail trail? Uh, uh, rail trail, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, Steve Gray went and did that. Sounds they're like nothing it. fancy. They're not guardrails by mm -hmm. any means, but they're mm -hmm. just so that it's visible mm -hmm. uh, to keep Good. people off of okay. it. They look great, actually. Oh, did you see them? Oh, did you yeah. see them? Yeah. I rode down there two days yeah. ago. Okay. Yeah. With my kids. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was great. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I think we're good there for the yeah, winter, okay. for snow machine travel and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what if they get snow. Right. If we ever get any snow. Uh, if they get snow, yeah. they're all set. Yeah. Uh, any questions? Any chance you could find uh, time to cut up that branch that fell off my favorite tree? In the Around college? the park? Yeah. Perhaps, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, next week I'm going to be working on the railings mm -hmm. for Carol Ray's bridge. Oh, geez, yeah. I've ordered the lumber and I'm hoping to go get it mm -hmm. tomorrow, mm -hmm. so I'll have that. Mm -hmm. And next week we can do that, which won't take all week, but uh, on the way by, maybe we can grab some of that brush and stuff. And get, out of, get out your chainsaw. And yeah, we'll just mm -hmm. probably just load it on one of the trucks and cart it off oh. that way. Mm -hmm. You know, cut it into small pieces so we can handle mm -hmm. it. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a question. Um, so I had somebody who lives on Blake Hill Road approached me with a suggestion. Um, and the suggestion was to make a portion of Blake Hill starting like the side that the Laguses live on, if you know where that is, the Route 14 side closer to Callis. So starting there, going up to the intersection um, where, I forget the name of that road, Gilbert Road? Gilbert Road. Okay. Yeah. Um, to make that one way, at least seasonally, and the reasoning behind it was because they felt like there wasn't room for a plow truck and a car to pass each other safely. Um, so I'm very much neutral on the suggestion, but I said that I would bring it up and I wanted to ask you how you feel about whether there's room for vehicles to pass safely there. That's half the roads uh, in town. 
And that's I was going to say that's that's the same with almost every road. I know. I always like, oh my god, my heart would be in my throat if I came up past. I, I, mean, I had to share the road with like one of those fine. trucks. Just slow down. Just, just slow down. Slow down. Slow I do. I, I stop. So they have to wait. Go around me. Yeah, and my drivers are very considerate about yeah, that. Yes, they're great. Yeah. We'll often stop. They pull a wing yeah. up. We yeah. get over as far as we can. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. wasn't a complaint at all. Just a suggestion, but. Um, I don't drive that road much, and I know you probably do, so I didn't yeah. know if it was more narrow than other roads or if it's just kind of the yeah, same. Yeah, I'm trying. It's actually wider than a lot of roads in town. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of where it would be the narrowest. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just below Skip Lindsay, there was a washout there, but we that's fair. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I mean, that's I don't call that dangerous by any means. Okay. There have been requests for guardrails along that. Yeah. I can see yeah, guardrails. I can see guardrails. Okay. I can see guardrails yeah. if we yeah. can afford it. If we can afford it at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But, That's um, probably the section in question, I'm going to guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it is a steep drop on one side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're yeah. all over the place. So. But, but there, there, are, yeah, there are a lot of roads that are way more narrow than that. Makes right. life exciting. And steeper drops, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, Tempest Road. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, oh, I think he already. Oh, 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 well, you wanted to bring I'll, it up, so I'll, bring it up. I'll say formally what I said informally earlier. I don't know how you got gravel on that road so fast after it disappeared, but it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had it right at the show. Obviously, there were plenty of other roads that needed attention too. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for the work. Yes. Yeah. That one looks pretty darn good. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it does. Better, a lot than, of, better than it looks in a while. A lot, I, like Tebbets and, and out your road, I hit it at, right at the right time because mm -hmm. it was really muddy and ruddy. So I put the rake on it mm -hmm. and that's what saved it. The rake mm -hmm. kind of leveled off the big ruts and mm -hmm. filled in the, mm -hmm. the low spots mm -hmm. and then it froze. Oh. So timing was everything on that one. <laughs> um, but then. Oh. Right by the intersection, those ruts were just too big. The rake couldn't do it, so I ended up putting gravel there. And mm -hmm. leveled but it's a good section of road right now. Yeah. Yeah. Nice work. Yeah. Thank you. We also have Old Quarry Road on our list of things to be concerned with. We do. We do, indeed. And, um, Mr. Larrabee, this doesn't directly concern you, but it's good that you're part of this conversation. There are some vehicles that are impeding the right of way. Yeah. Have you seen those? Yes. Okay. And um, this is on the new section of Old Quarry Road, section, the lower road. The So lower they're section. not only using the older section, but they're using the new section. New section too. Oh, wait. This is the lower section? This is both. No, no. She <laughs> means the, oh, this. the old section that is their camper is parked in the middle of. Oh. Okay. But the, the newer section that comes up to Cabot Road. Like where it forks and the there's just a on, tiny little triangle in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. We're not talking about farther down the road though. No. Okay. No. Well, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think. That's good. I think it's <laughs> up above, right? Okay. It's up above that. Yeah. Um, so what do you want to do about that? Well, I don't know. Really loaded with forks. Well, you got the you got the email, <laughs> right? The complaint. I we have had a number of complaints. I sent mm -hmm. you guys one. Mm -hmm. um, the reality is that that's a town road. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm going to go up and do my best, but at some point, those vehicles have to move. And gates will come. Yeah. And gates will come. Gates yeah. will come. Yeah. So what can like what can we legally do if we decide it's in to? Our right it's in our right away. We, we can, can take it. We can take. Yeah. We could. We could take it. Even if it's already. So we could call people. gates. Yeah. yeah. And we could just say, hey, we have a vehicle this car's parked that's illegally. been parked here. We told them. We warned them. Yeah. I think. Yeah, as long as you have a paper trail that, yeah. that you've contacted them, you've warned them. Mm -hmm. Very this is the contact. This isn't an abandoned. I mean, this is a vehicle that he uses. Right. In and out. Right. So Gates not going to come so, and say, "Well, maybe he'll be there today, and maybe not." There are abandoned vehicles there as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. But the one that uh, the neighbor complained about is was a mobile. the truck. That one is mobile. But the whole thing's a problem. So right. I feel like they need a solid warning, like a, a little bit of a time period just to be reasonable, and then we got to do something. 
yeah. like drastic. Right, mm. but we um, did that with the, the with the fence and the camper. We so my that. warning. I'm just gonna say my warning sure. wasn't like that much of a solid warning. It was like me trying to be nice, telling them it was a problem, but I. I don't think I was like stern enough to make it really clear. No. Right. I'm not Did sure what you're um, when you want to talk to them. Um, just yeah, well, I wrote a letter. Mm -hmm. So after you, like, mm -hmm. they did receive a letter. Actually, they received two of warning. Okay. Um, so this one is going to be a more strongly worded letter that is notarized. Um, I've already basically had it drafted. It's at our at an attorney, and it's. Removal within three days. As of as of January first. So, and, I don't. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't expect either one of those residents up there have the road plowed. They do not. Do they don't? They don't There's have a much private snow. plow. There's what? There's so not it's not easy. Snow. Yeah. Too no, but I mean, right, if there right, was, right, do right, they have uh, a contract right, with somebody? There's no snow in the forecast yeah. for the next week. Yeah. We got 40 and rain. So uh, <laughs> the letter is blood. going to be notarized as of January 1, three days notice. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the vehicles are going to... I already talked to Kate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so are you going to hand deliver this letter? Yes. I was going to say, because if it's notarized January 1st, you put it in the U.S. mail, oh, there's no. no way in hell they're going to get it. No. Uh, <laughs> so, well, I can do a five-day notice, but I'm going to hand deliver it anyway. Yep. Um, I'll do both. It's fine. And then it's going to just be removed. And then, as soon as that happens, what I would like to have happen, if you're willing to do it, is to just have that road, like, really cleanly reestablished. Rake the heck out of it. Make it very clear that that's a town road. The new part. The new part. The new part. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then any conversations that I have to have with them later are going to be really straightforward. Chris, can you put up no parking signs? I I can put up signs. So I'm confused about uh, I'm confused about the later part because it was my understanding that you were. Maybe not going to be in the picture. That much longer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it was good. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to just stay on. I mean, that's, I hope you are. That's awesome. I just I'm looking for clarity because I'm confused about this like stuff. I feel like I'm compelled to stick around. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Glad to hear it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Try to make it. It's really easy hard on you. trading or or getting used to this position and knowing the rules and. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I feel like I'm compelled. Thank you. Okay. Great. Just, uh, it's <laughs> it's really hard for me to do this. Well, because you're going to Canada all the time. Because I'm not here. Yeah. Mm. So that's my plan. But mm. once once I go through that process, I just need your help. Yep. To make the road really clearly established. Yep. So that once <laughs> that process is dealt with, it doesn't happen. Again. It doesn't happen. Yeah. And if it's no parking signs, I'll put those up. If it's, well, it doesn't matter. I'll do whatever. Yeah. But the road has to be, like, it has to be a decent road yeah. so that all the other people who live along it feel like it's accessible and it makes it clear that it's not a parking place. Right. So when snow comes, you don't want me to plow it. I would like you to plow it. You do. All the way through. All the way through. Really? Can I? Uh, you, can I no, counter no, you can, that? No, you can object, please. Okay, I'm objecting. It's 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 my opinion that it should be plowed all the way through and make it a very clear road pathway. All the way down to. All the way down to what? I'm objecting only Go because ahead. I feel like it's a lot of money spent to make a point, but mm -hmm. I don't think that's the right way to make our point, and okay. it's going to cost the taxpayers money. Yep, it is. So it was all the things because that we were doing with Gates? True. As of right now, that's a class four? It's a mm -hmm. class three. No, it's no, a class four. It's, class it's a three. Four. No. It's a three. No. Four. four. Definitely it's four. three up to uh, Meachums. It's Meachums. Meachums. Three up to Meachums. Meachums. Yeah. yeah, and then it's four. And then the other section, it's, all, it's a four. Yeah. From well, we, just fixed, we just fixed all that. Yeah, we did. Well, we for still fixed it. For, for, yes, yeah. we did. We still fixed it. We fixed it to keep it up the same. We fixed it because our, our incentive was because they were doing this bridge. Right. And we thought there was going to be more traffic going down. So <coughs> we, we put money in to fix mm -hmm. it. 
uh, because of the flood. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, okay. But then it snowed, uh, so we didn't use it. Well, then I have, to, I have to reword my letter. <laughs> <laughs> but it still wouldn't hurt to, to just the run the trail. The snowmobile trail runs on that upper section? It does section. run on that upper section. Yep. Um, yep. So that may be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. Well, no, we, can still, we can still identify it, whether it's not, no, it can whether, be it's not plot, whether it's piled or not uh, plot, we can still put no parking signs, mm -hmm. we can still put, uh, you know, we can mark out our right of way with grade mm -hmm. stakes, mm -hmm. yep. whatever we get, whatever, I okay. mean, it's, our, it's our right of way, yeah. we can do it. It's our right of way. Mm -hmm. So whether it's plowed all yeah, winter or not. Yeah, I was just trying to not. think of a way to make it a mm -hmm. very clear designation. But mm. yeah, points well made. Okay. Steve, you have a question? I yes, Steve, please. I wonder about the placement of no parking signs. Can you, is it, would that seem arbitrary? Yes. Okay. Quite. Yeah, yeah, but I mean. I think they would, they would get acknowledged at all. They, they, would, they would disappear. But I'm just saying, in, in does no the town have standards for placing no parking signs? No, we do not. We have a traffic ordinance that talks about placing speed limit signs and things like that, but I no think parking no parking, parking is just it no. seems. our highway right of way is 25 feet from the center line. Mm -hmm. There is another way to do this without no parking signs. Right, because you think the town right? owns that 25 feet. Mm -hmm. You could claim that in other ways without if up signs. If the property it's hadn't been legally sold, this would be a lot easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I'm if, absolutely if, if, you're, if you're willing to help me, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'll take advantage of it. Yeah, and as long as we're about. within inside the law, I'm in. I am not <laughs> convinced. <laughs> That wasn't funny because I don't, I don't like Crowbar City. <laughs> oh, no, gosh. Oh, my God. Crowbar City? Crowbar City. No, no, no. <laughs> That's no, not what we're talking about. I know. But as long as we're, we don't cause more problems for nope. the town. Um, this is, uh, it, this is a simple uh, recognition of a town right of way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just being done and by And I legal. totally agree this. that Being this done by legal has means. To happen. Mm -hmm. We've got yeah, to stand up for mm -hmm. our right of way. Yep. We talked about it and talked about it, and then it, yep. no, it's just right. gotten worse. So. So. Are we going to leave this at just the vehicles in the road for now? Because there, there are other there structures, are a but of I problems. feel like the vehicles are the biggest. Um, I think I have to start somewhere with yep. something more strong. Um, but this is where it has to start to mm -hmm. reestablish the right way. Yep, mm -hmm. that makes sense to me. Yeah, and that's based on the complaints that you've, that you've taken in. number of complaints that we've taken in. Only one of which was provided to us so as a committee. Brandy, you said the snowmobile trail uses... It does use that road. Which, the upper Gold Quarry Road? Where Jason and Erica Smith purchased, right between, yeah. just above Mark Demers, it goes in there, and mm -hmm. then it cuts it up through forward. by tents. Yep. Up through there. <laughs> <laughs> comes right around. Yeah. So that other little spur. Yeah. Up on time. Up on time. Mm. Old Cabot Road on uh -huh. Devin. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Behind Ian's mm. Okay. So, um, you'll see some things from me. Yeah. Email. After the first year. Email. Yeah. If that's okay with you? Sure. Yep. Thanks for that. Thank you. Um, Chris, okay. do you mind, oh, just another question, sorry. Do you mind CCing us, um, or sending us the letter just so we're all on the same page information-wise? Okay, thank you. There was something in that, uh, in that email you got that said that the person who was being visited by town officials complained that they didn't have credentials? That was never brought up. So if, assuming still, just, this was me and Josh going, that, yeah. that's, he never he just said made that up. That. Okay. Right. Well, and technically, I mean, he wasn't being visited. I don't have a card-carrying member of the select board. Yeah, really, we should. Thank you, Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a badge. Do you have yes. badges? Yeah, we have badges. I'm not wearing that. 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 I'm not what does it say? What does it say? It's like a sheriff's badge. Yeah. Yeah, are these town constable? We can have a I am not a constable. <laughs> I'm not a constable. I've never been elected to that position. <laughs> never will I will be. Um, you don't have to be elected. You can be appointed. Uh, not having it either. <laughs> so, all right, we're moving on. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, 
we um, do have a report that was going to be read into record from Skip Lindsay, mm. our recovery officer. Does anybody have that printed? Because I do not. This one? No, I gave it to you. <laughs> I apologize. Mm. Okay, I'm going to just read this in the record on behalf of Skip Lindsay. Okay. Um, this is a report as of December 28th for the Library Select Board. There were two meetings, conference calls with FEMA since my last report during December 11th, 2023, Select Board meeting. As a result of these meetings and ad hoc calls, all damage inventories now have project numbers assigned to them. Damage inventories are now grouped together in a logical sequence in an effort to reduce the amount of essential elements of information, or EEIs, documentation needed to move the projects forward. Project scope survey questions have been answered for each project. Please see the attached Excel document, which the select board has a note of. Next steps are to complete the EEIs for each project and damage inventory. Project EEI documentation includes the following, timesheets, personnel policy, pay policy, fringe benefit calculation, equipment usage summary, equipment rate costs, material type summary, i.e. gravel riprap, etc., material invoices and receipts, rental leased equipment summary, rental equipment leased usage and receipts, damaged photos, maps, and sketches, damaged photos and after repairs photos, lat long coordinates for each damaged inventory location. Over the next several weeks, Danielle and I will, uh, with the continued help from Alfred Larrabee, Ernie Smith, and Robin Durkee, will compile the EEIs and submit them to FEMA to the, for their review and processing. So, when can Woodbury expect money flowing was one of my questions to FEMA and Vermont Emergency Management. Their answer, sometime in FY 2025. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Again, with the information at hand now, Woodbury can expect a combined state and FEMA 87.5% reimbursement for disaster relief costs. Next meeting with FEMA is on January 11, 2023 at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm working on a year-end FEMA narrative for the town report as well. Mm -hmm. Call any questions and regarding processes, Skip Lindsay. Mm -hmm. So, um, wow. that I've... I'm going to have to go out for a loan. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm short thirty thousand dollars, so just to build a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Your what? It's bridge. <laughs> um, so uh, let me just say thank you to Skip Lindsay mm -hmm. for the incredible amount of work that oh. he and Danielle have been doing. Really? Um, this is not trivial, Alfred. Oh my God! Thank you for all the work that you're doing, the liaison with Skip. Mm -hmm. um, this is a work in progress, and we know that uh, it'll continue to be a work in progress. We were hoping for 2024. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it's going to be another six months or seven months after that. Um, yeah. So that's just read in the record. Um, as for Skip Lindsay's and Danielle's and Alfred's excellent work. Mm -hmm. um, so we are not going to even though it's uh, published on the report, we're not going to work on the personnel and budget policy tonight. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We will continue to put that off and work on it in more detail at some point. Soon, I think. With that being said, I will take a motion to adjourn. Right, with it, there was a one. I just wanted well, to give a little... Soon. Report on the reappraisal process. Oh, I apologize. Yeah, I, I, I uh, put that in mind. I screwed up on that. I had I understood that according to that order that we got, that we had 150 days to produce a plan. And I looked, did a lot of research, and read a lot of documents and other what other towns are doing. And I got together a little committee that hasn't actually met yet, but they will someday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then, so two days before the deadline, I finally read the letter that came with the order and and clicked on the link to the form that they wanted us to send and come to find out.
the form, which was supposedly was requesting a plan, was actually requesting that you have a re reappraiser signed up. Oh gosh. Yeah. Right. So you know, even other towns can't get one either. But anyways, the, so um, I requested a an extension, and I'm working on uh, mm -hmm. a draft of a, an RFP based on something I got from other towns, and. Uh, yeah, I really was. I thought they wanted a plan. Instead, they wanted a plan. I mean, it seems like once you've hired somebody, your plan, you you're done. You just wait for them to do the job. But, anyways, so okay. that's one one link I didn't click on until the last minute. So, well, thank you for that update. Okay. Sorry for the trouble. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. Though. Okay. Uh, now, at uh, eight o'clock p.m., I will take a motion to adjourn. Second. Eight. I'll move. No. Oh, second. Second. Move. second. Uh, all those in favor of adjournment. Aye. Yeah. Aye. Aye. Aye.